Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to talk about a case of left main PCI that required using uh, nested bifurcation PCI techniques. The uh, patient is an 80-year-old woman uh, who had cabbage uh, many years ago. She is quite a spunky one and is an avid uh, ballroom dancer. Um, however, over the past year, uh, she uh, developed persistent uh, exertional angina. And about nine months ago, uh, she had a PET scan that showed a large area of lateral as well as entrolateral ischemia. She had a cath at that point, uh, which is what you see here. Um, the mid RCA, uh, the mid LED, RCA, and the vein graft to the OM uh, were all occluded. Uh, the lima to the LED and the vein graft to the PDA uh, were patent. Um, you see that there is severe disease uh, that involves the distal left main proximal LED into a large diagonal, uh, the very high OM and the proximal circumflex. Uh, this is not quite a left main bifurcation, but given the very high arising OM, it is pretty close. Um, so her cardiologist made a valiant attempt at medical uh, therapy. She is now on four antianginal medications and it, she is still having angina. She is uh, no longer able to go uh, ballroom dancing and her activity level is now really limited to just short walks around her neighborhood and even slight inclines uh, causes her uh, to have angina. So um, we're asked about uh, attempting uh, PCI. So someone very wise uh, once told me that there are three golden rules uh, for left main uh, trifurcation PCI. And rule number one, don't do it. Rule number two, uh, get a surgeon uh, to do it. And if the surgeon won't do it, then there's rule number three, uh, get the cardiologist uh, to prescribe more pills. But what if you don't have a choice? Uh, what does uh, the literature say about PCI of uh, left main uh, trifurcations? So not much really. Uh, left main uh, trifurcation PCIs are not frequently done, so there are only a few uh, small studies out there. A uh, review in CERC uh, cardiovascular interventions in 2021 uh, nicely uh, summarizes uh, what is known, and in brief, Left main trifurcations are best left to the surgeons. The syntax score is automatically at least intermediate to high and cabbage uh, should be the first choice. Uh, if you are forced to uh, work on a left main trifurcation, a, a provisional stenting strategy is favored and only use multiple stents if necessary. Uh, the good news is that the angiographic success of PCI is high, however, the long-term outcome is modest uh, with the relatively high rates of MACE and a uh, target uh, lesion uh, revascularization. So um, for our patient, a redo cabbage uh, was out of the question and she is already on and has effectively failed um, aggressive uh, medical therapy. So how would we approach this? Well, um, the diagonal OM and the circumflex are all roughly the same size, and there is a severe disease leading to all three branches. So I didn't think provisional stenting was uh, really ideal here. In addition, um, there's something else to consider. Uh, at this center, only six French guides uh, are available. So you could not use simultaneous stents and you could not do uh, simultaneous uh, triple kissing or trissing. Uh, this is a technique that I do cover in another uh, left main uh, trifurcation video. So here's what I thought we would do. Uh, we would treat this as what it is, a nested bifurcation. In other words, a bifurcation of a bifurcation. There is the base bifurcation, which is at the distal left main, which involves the LED into the diagonal and the circumflex into the um, high OM. My plan was to do a reverse culotte uh, for this uh, bifurcation. Then um, there is the uh, bifurcation of the base bifurcation. Uh, which includes the high OM and the circumflex uh, continuation. And my plan was to do a tap uh, for this bifurcation. So it sounds like we're in uh, for some uh, good times. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I engage uh, with a six French AL1 guide. I wired all three branches pretty easily with uh, three different uh, workhorse wires. And after that, I pre-dilated the LED into the diagonal uh, with a 2.5 millimeter uh, compliant balloon. The other two branches were also pre-dilated with the same uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, compliant balloon. 
And um, here is what we have after in the uh, initial round of uh, balloon angioplasty. Really, it does already look improved, and uh, there is no obvious uh, major dissection. So now um, the first stent goes in a 3.0 by 28 millimeter DES from the left main through the LED into the diagonal. Uh, this is the first leg of the culotte and intentionally jails uh, the circ as well as the high OM. And I made sure to post dilate this at very high pressure uh, with a 3.5 millimeter NC balloon. We want to make sure that this first stent is extremely well opposed uh, before rewiring the circ. Uh, this reduces the possibility that the new wire uh, could end up underneath the strut and make our lives very difficult. Okay, so after post dilating the first stent, I recrossed into that high OM fairly readily with a pro water wire and dilated the stent cell with a 2.25 millimeter balloon. And uh, here is the second stent going in, a uh, 30 by 23 millimeter DES from the left main through the circumflex into the OM. This is the uh, second leg of the culotte, and now we've intentionally gelled the LED as well as the uh, circumflex uh, continuation. Again, I post dilated very aggressively uh, to make sure the second stent is well expanded and opposed to the wall uh, before um, rewiring the LED. I've got another uh, how to do culotte video if you'd like to see step-by-step uh, -step instructions for uh, culotte uh, bifurcation PCI. Uh, we then did uh, kissing balloon angioplasty, uh, which is uh, what you see here. So here's what we have after uh, doing culotte on the left main LED and circumflex into the OM. Uh, both the LED into the diag and the circ into the OM are looking quite nice. Um, the circ continuation, though, is uh, quite severely pinched with really just Timmy 2 flow, and the proximal left main does look a little bit bruised. And I had a heck of a hard time uh, crossing back into that uh, circumflex continuation. I, I couldn't get a pro water to cross. I tried with a hydrophilic uh, Pilot 50 wire and then with a fine cross microcatheter and had no luck. And then I then tried the uh, dual lumen uh, Suzuki catheter uh, to see if I could use a side port to catch the ostium of the circ continuation, but that didn't work either. And finally, after a lot of doing, I was able to get that uh, Pilot 50 wire into the circ uh, after I used a super cross 120 uh, angled uh, microcatheter. And here is what things look like after recrossing into the circ. Uh, it seems that the super cross 120 pushed uh, some of that plaque out of the way, and uh, the circ actually looked reasonably decent. Uh, there was a Timmy 3 flow uh, back. And I thought to myself that maybe we should just stop now and uh, declare uh, victory. Uh, but the patient uh, snapped me uh, out of my daydream. Uh, she started for the first time this whole case uh, complaining of chest pain. And I, I immediately thought that it was from that circ. Uh, but in retrospect, looking at this later on, you'll notice that there is no uh, real contrast reflux from the left main, and that really was probably the issue. So uh, we started working a little bit more quickly now. I dilated the circ, uh, uh, circ uh, into OM uh, stent cell with a uh, 2.25 millimeter balloon and positioned a uh, 2.5 by 18 millimeter DES in the circ, just protruding into the previous stent uh, for my plan uh, T and protrusion or, or tap approach. We uh, then did kissing balloon angioplasty, uh, first with the stent delivery balloon uh, that was drawn uh, halfway back, and then uh, with two uh, NC balloons. And here is what uh, things look like after tap stenting. The uh, circ and OM now also look pretty good, uh, but the patient was still having chest pain. And it was now that the tech uh, pointed out to me that the left main looked a little bit hazy and had a very poor uh, contrast uh, reflux. So uh, we had to uh, stent the left main too. Uh, I placed a 3.5 by 12 millimeter, uh, millimeter DES from the ostium into the mid, uh, mid left main and did very high pressure post dilation and her chest pain went away. We then did IVIS, uh, which showed uh, no residual uh, dissection. Uh, there was good stent expansion and apposition and the left main stent uh, was positioned nicely uh, just with one strut uh, protruding uh, into the aorta. And here is the uh, final angiographic result, uh, which I thought was uh, quite uh, satisfactory. Um, her uh, cardiologist uh, emailed me a couple of weeks later 
uh, she had no further angina and her uh, anti-anginal medications uh, were uh, weaned off. And most importantly, uh, she had already uh, started uh, dancing again. All right, uh, some take-home messages. Uh, left main uh, trifurcation PCI is still uh, something to be avoided. Uh, if uh, revascularization is necessary, uh, really leave it to the surgeons. Uh, if PCI is unavoidable, uh, choose a, a provisional stenting strategy whenever possible. Uh, if non-provisional stenting is necessary and if the anatomy is suitable, uh, consider doing what we did in this case, uh, which is use a uh, nested uh, bifurcation PCI strategy, and especially if you only have uh, six French guides available. Thank you for watching.